What's good with y'all boys, man? It's your boy, Who the Fuck is Jay, with another video. And, yeah, we're doing another reaction, my boy. We're doing another reaction. And, uh, yeah, man, Uh, it is currently, hold on, let me see, Wednesday, December 21st, 5.53 p.m. Mm-hmm, yes, 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 it is, yes, it is. And today, 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 man, we just going to. Lock in, you know what I'm saying? We we doing this shit kind of early. If you haven't already, like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is what we re reacting to right here, though. Not with not with DJ Ghost, but we just gonna react to. But yeah, man. If you didn't already, hold on. All right, this is my channel right here, bro. Man, video da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Go ahead and uh Yeah man go ahead get to watching these videos man subscribe uh run these numbers up man run these numbers up man run them up run it up for your boy I love y'all man I know y'all love me too I know y'all love me too just do it for me and my crew you feel me but anyway um <clears throat> Back to my homepage. Ah. Ah, what's his name? Lil Jungle Boy. That's who we reacting to, goddamn me. Lil Jungle Boy. Let's see what. Let's see what. Brody Bro. Lil Jungie Boy. Jungle Boy. I, I, let, 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 let's just see. Alright, so. I hope y'all having a good night. But a Merry Christmas. It's coming up. Y'all better not be naughty. Hope y'all get y'all presents. You know what I'm saying? And for all the cute covers out there doing the matching pajamas and shit. Fuck y'all. How about that? Ha! <laughs> fuck! Yeah, you know what? It's been a long... It's been a long time since I've been single. And I'm looking for me a girl. No, no, I'm not. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. It's sad out here. But anyway, let's get to the video, man. My friend used to pay $163 for car insurance. Now look how much he pays. Shut up. All right, your name is George? Little Jungle Boy from Blackstone. Little Jungle Boy from Blackstone? Blood Gang. That's my hood name, yeah. From South Central. Blood Gang out of L.A. You feel me where I grew up at? My mm -hmm. dad, he an OG from there. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So okay. originally, uh, with everything, gang banging, I grew up where like the shit originated from. This nigga bleeding right now? Yeah, for a little bit and then. We moved out there where, you know, by White Castle where the Vice Lords Disciples out of Chicago. Out there in New Orleans, they got the Gangster Disciples and shit. So you moved from New Orleans, New Orleans to... to Chicago for a little bit. And that's when I was all out here, when I was born out here. But I was raised in New Orleans, Chicago. And then you came back to LA? Yeah, I came out here when I was about, I want to say eight. And uh, that's when my um, adopted slash foster mom moved, moved us out here to Cali. Where, where was your mom? My mom, she was, uh, she'll tell you the truth, I don't know. I always thought my foster mother was my mom until uh, my big sister came looking for me. Damn. So besides that, I ain't know. But shit. We, what, was your, what was your childhood like? How would you describe it? My childhood? <laughs> shit, uh. Oh shit, ma, she was uh she was an addict and shit, you feel me? I didn't really know. I just know I had to have heart surgery and I was a baby because I had a hole in my heart and blew my shit out. So that's why they took me from her. Damn. And then other than that, I grew up in the jungles. I know you hear called the Asian Jay, so I was back and forth from the jungles to the Anthus parts. You feel me? You joined the gang at what age? I joined the gang when I was ten. Oh, um, mom, I joined the gang when I was 10. Uh, took my five, man. Goddamn. But y'all gotta be thankful for life with it, bro. This shit crazy. Damn. So already at eight. I mean, yeah. At eight or a baby when he was born, he's already fucked up. Because, goddamn, look at all these goddamn scratches. You know I mean, not scratches, but um, scars and shit. Damn. Damn, boy. Damn. <sighs> Um, Fucked up. I got with four Damn. of them. The fifth one, I ain't gonna lie, I got knocked out by the G homie. <laughs> you feel me? But it's all fun though, cause you know after that you smoke your blood, drink, do what you do. So it's Gucci. You feel me? But 
out the 10, our mamas went from hustling, doing what it do, something happened. See, most people don't know about like the jungles back in the days, you probably hear about it where when people tried to come on a block, especially my block, the GY Palmer, police wouldn't even come down there. You couldn't even come through the block. Like, hey, you should call that kill sentry. Like, wherever you go, if you know your way around the jungles, you'll get trapped. It's like a big ass maze. You ever been there? It's right up in the hills. Yeah. So we got alleyways, cuts. Oh, mama started out as a runner boy for the G homie, doing what it do. Came my year still, you know, doing what it do. It's dope. As I got older, you feel me? I got, I want to say what? Because I went with sis at nine, and then I want to say around like 12. She said I was too wild, so I had went back in the system. And then I had went to um, juvenile hall, got into a juvenile hall. I got booted out because of my medical. And uh, so when I got booted out, I went home, never went back to juvenile hall. But on my way to hustling, I know you can see my arms and shit. So it's on my arms, my chest, from hustling to gang banging, you feel me? Shit, I got wicked. I got kidnapped. Niggas like tortured, threw in the trunk. I woke up, I was in the trunk, bleeding out and shit. My big sister Tay, um, my mama. You, you got a lot of cuts? Is that, is that what all the cuts are from? Yeah. On, on, your, my, on your torso? Yeah, my arms. It's on my arms, my stomach. But shit, after that, then my uh, mama, so I woke up in the trunk. When I woke up in the trunk, I wouldn't even know. You feel me? Like, you look the shit up on the internet and shit. That's what this shit from right here. You got shot in the head. It's one of the things, if you look at it, I can show you. It went through the back right here. That's what, what they shot me. You got shot in the forehead. No, I got shot in the back of the head. You got back shot in the, the back. Head. And it came out. That's why I got a plate in the front. It went through your brain? In the back. Yeah. Who is you this nigga? Why are you not dead? Uh, the centerpiece, that little split shit, where your brain is it parts or whatever. The different when hemisphere. The dude, yeah, that's it. When the dude fired a bullet, it split. So basically, the shit being old, it saved my life. It's not, I wouldn't, wouldn't really call it a misfire, but you know, you think about guns and ammunition, like every once in a while. Like with a 223 or 227, the bullet is split when you flip, like piece of it come off. So shit, that motherfucker split, it went through, boom, boom. Oh, mama, I ain't even gonna lie, I thought the bitch missed fire. I didn't even know I was hit. And my girl, she didn't even know. Once I pulled up, we asked my sister when I pulled up. Oh, mama, that called my chick, she came and got me. But she just came and got the car, she didn't even know I was in the trunk. You feel me? So my mama the get to sis house, she popped the trunk, boom, I'm out, yada, yada. I just tell her like they was torturing a nigga. You see my hands, they broke my fingers and shit. Oh, mama's cut out my tendons. So shit. Ooh, nigga. Oh, mama, Damn. I deal with that. And then I want to say, <clears throat> I want to say like, what? Around that time, I was like 18. So from there. But was there any damage, any brain damage from that? I had a TBI. I was uh, partially paralyzed from the waist down. I had a uh, catheter. They wanted to give me a uh, shit bag, but I they couldn't because uh, I guess when the dude hit me down here, one of the blades, the shit, it tore my, uh, is it the lower intestines or the big intestines that you shit with? So it had nicked that. So they were saying that if they didn't do a surgery, like like the feces would be leaking, leaking into my stomach. But what they did was they went in there, sold it, and like still to this day, like I want to say for like the, I want to say for like the first year, I couldn't eat like no hard foods. Oh, oh, I thought that was an earbuds. I couldn't eat no hard foods. So like for the first year, I was eating oatmeal. I couldn't eat no peanut butter, and I could barely eat oatmeal. But like anything that would get me constipated or make me push. I couldn't eat because that should tear my insides up. So like to this Damn. day, I got a big ass like, you know, like the sterile sponges and the packing, like all around my intestines. They got it locked in and sewed up in there. So like it won't move or bust because it's just still fucked to this day. Bro, so, you done prison time? Yeah, I did uh 14 years in the pen. What? I had got into a, uh, I was about to get to, so a couple months, I want to say a couple months later, uh, I was taking care of some shit, uh, making a deal, and the police came, they pulled up in the hood on the block, 
and um, I got into a shootout with him. Um, that was the second time I got shot in the head. I got hit in the side right here. Bro, oh, what? Shot in the, in the head twice. Yeah, I was. Bro, what? Bro, what? Shot in the head twice, not once, twice, bro. Twice. But that's crazy as fuck, bro. This nigga need to <clears throat> write a book. Fuck a 35 minutes and 44 seconds. This nigga need to write a book about his whole life. I bet you he make some money and make a movie. Make a movie. And this like, um, what's this? Wait, you know, you know the movies like they be like, oh, they be always come back alive. Like, how is this nigga coming back alive? This is him. This is a GTA character. Shot me here twice. No cap. One this is GTA character. One by the damn me. And when I was shot in the head the second time, my mama, because they said they did it because when they came up, I was belligerent. They said I was intoxicated and uh, I was armed and dangerous. So I'm like, if I'm armed and dangerous, y'all should have came to the house with the SWAT. They didn't come to the house with SWAT or none. And like I was saying over there in the jungles, everybody over there knew my pops. You feel me? Because he was like the nigga that like, made sure the block was good. He did what it do. You feel me? All the youngers looked up to him. He was like one of them cool ass OGs, big mud bone. Your dad was in the gang as well? Yeah, my dad, he was from Twins. My mama. Well, my dad, my original dad, my biological dad, I don't know that bitch ass nigga. Oh. From well, me, I got a, me and my older sister, we got the same dad. But like, it's gonna get into a whole cold twist. It's gonna get into a whole cold twist, whole cold twist. So, me and my sister, the one I'm talking about that got the same dad, around when all this shit happened, when I ain't got locked up, shot in the head, and they raided the house and everything on the block, saying that um, I was in a, involved in a police officer shooting, and a couple of sheriffs was killed, and the detectives, and yada, yada. They didn't have no proof, no nothing. All they said they had was a phone call, and my case really got dismissed, because at the time I had dreads, and they said, that the dude that did it didn't have dreads, the nigga had braids, but it wasn't enough evidence. So I went, I fought my case for two years, and then I ended up getting 14 with 85. But within the two years process, while I'm in the pen, I don't know if my big sister told you, but my sister that me, me and her got the same dad, one of his sons is a sheriff. So while I'm in jail, in the county jail, if you ask anybody about the county jail, the only way you can get in your cell is if the police could, uh, if the police unlock your shit from the tower. So while I'm in there, when I first go in, they tell me they're gonna K-12 me. K-12 is like, uh, it's not a PC, but it's uh, it's basically protective custody because I had a police officer in my family. So they was like, until that get cleared, I'm like, I ain't got no police in my family. What the fuck you talking about? Wrong one. They was like, you got a brother named Marvin Pollard, your dad's George Pollard. I'm like, what the fuck, him? I'm like, Damn. what the fuck? Like, I ain't never met that nigga or this nigga. You ain't like, meet nobody. Shit, shit. I'm like, what the fuck? And they was like, nah, bro, you got this dude. So, mamas, while I'm in there. Bro, this nigga say, on oh, mamas. One more time, bro. Nigga, just say on, on your mama, bro. On oh, mamas. I'm gonna start saying this shit, on oh, mamas. You know, maybe he's saying that because he got, yeah, he got two mamas. I want to say, on mamas. once I get out of K-12, I'm in the game miles for probably like two months. It's about like two in the morning, my mm -hmm. cell get cracked. On mamas. And when my cell get cracked, I'm asleep, but the door is ca cow. It could make that loud ass pop noise. So I kind of woke up, but I didn't. And when I didn't do what I was supposed to do, on mamas had a dude hand around my neck. I got sliced from here all the way around. Before they could get to right here, oh, mama's hopped up, did my shit, walked out the room, my shit was leaking, they said it looked like the slaughterhouse in my room, blood was everywhere and shit. And um, they tried to give me an ad charge because the nigga that sliced me up, I killed him. But at the same time, the district attorney told me that it was self defense. I was single cell because of the uh, uh, um, like standards of my case and shit. And then so they wanted me, I had to be a game module, but they wanted me to where I moved around and everything. You feel What's me? so crazy is, bro, this nigga is like talking normal, like nothing happened. Like nothing happened. Like he just talking like we talking. 
Like I like he been shot in the head twice. Been cut in the head. Like I was, some speech. Like his speech is still clear. Like that's crazy. And then it's just like this nigga is a dead man walking. Like this nigga ain't die. Like this nigga probably get shot with a shotgun point like up and up close range and you ain't gonna die. Like the nigga gonna come back alive. Like what the hell is and fingers been I cut? He can't shit right. Kidnapped. He looked a uh, fucking like how you say basically run my program, get my phone calls, canteen. But the shit was weird, like the way everything was going. So when that shit happened, I came out the cell, the police came up on me. I'm tripping on them because ain't no way in hell somebody could just pop my door. Like that's a steel door. Like you, if you want to get out that bitch from the inside, like if you big enough and you with the funks, you can kick that bitch off the hinges. But other than that, like that shit ain't opening. So they were saying like it was a computer malfunction, this and that, yada, yada. Damn. Whatever the fuck. Police had killed you. So I want to say three weeks after that, I go to court. The judge asked me um, what was the situation about the uh, murder in my cell. I'm like, you're like, you ain't got no celly. What was going on? Was you high? I'm like, man, my door was popped while I was asleep. Somebody tried to kill me. I'm like, that came from a sheriff. You feel me? The judge was like, nah, nah, you're paranoid. We'll do a whoop. Miss me with that shit. So when I, uh, when I get back, because we was going to um, CCB right down here downtown. So when we get back to the county jail, oh, mama's that night after I said that, um, I'm in the cell on mama's. I'm oh, sitting mama's. in my cell and I'm posting, I'm making my spread, I eat and shit. And while I'm in there on mama's, my cell get popped. They tell me to step outside. I step outside the door, boom, they tell me to come to the corridor. I come to the corridor. Because in the corridor, they got like A, B, and C wing. So when I come out there, they got this black dude come get me, cuff me up. Like, what the fuck I'm doing? I'm like, man, it's like 2, 3 in the morning. What the fuck going on? They take me in the rec room. They handcuff me to the thing. Oh, mama's the big black dude. That shit, nigga, my life start welling up. Boom, boom. Nigga broke my jaw. Boom, boom. I had two broken ribs. The nigga dislocated my shoulder. It came to find out that uh, the nigga was my brother. Oh, it was my dad's, yeah, all bushes to the side. It was my dad's oldest son. The nigga fucked me up, came in there, said I was, uh, I put a rat, uh, rat, a bad name on our family's last name, and yada, yada. And I'm like, nigga, I don't even know you. I don't even know none of your family. You feel me? Like, what the fuck is you on? And they was like, well, whoop de whoop whoop and this and that. So, oh, mama, I ended up, I woke up in the hospital, face swollen, yada, yada. <laughs> So I want to say, um, it's 2008. Y'all looked that shit up on the internet. 2008 on Mama's, I go to court. I want to say, I want to say it was the fourth or fifth time. You look it up on the internet, 2008, that shit's still on there. I'm the nigga that was shot for the third time. Not in the head no more, but that's when I was hitting the face on Mama's inside the court. You had a lot of people try to kill you. Huh? You had a lot of people try to kill you. Nah, that's because they tried, well, that, yeah. It's, I want to say it's the way shit, I ain't going to say it was the way I was raised. Cause my mama, Including your own family. Huh? Including your own family. Yeah. Oh, mama. But that's just on my dad's side. Like, on my mom's side, ain't nobody, like, on my mom's side, it's all love. But my dad, like, them motherfuckers is, like, them weird. Like, my auntie and them, they've been trying to talk to me since he passed away. You feel me? And link up with me and everything. But it's just like. Everybody see everything good, and they don't see that one side to the shit I went through on the inside. You feel me? And like my sister and them, they tell me all the time, like stay away from me, yada yada. Might as well say stay away from them. Yeah. But it's just principles, like on oh, mama. So when I was in court, them fools shot me because they said I tried to escape. And like how you gonna escape? They said because I punched the glass window. On oh, mama's a judge when he started when she started talking about my time. I ain't expected to say that much time that soon. So when I went there, they was talking about giving me 365 years. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, y'all tripping. I'm like, what the fuck am I facing again? Uh, they were like, um, double homicide on uh, uh, police officer. They were like, uh, Damn. It was double homicide on police officer. And they gave me like 11 tempted murders. Damn. So I was like, y'all, y'all out y'all rabbit ass. How's he still here, bro? How? How? 
365 years? Damn. Might as well just say life. What the fuck? Damn, this shit for real. Damn, they tried to. First of all, police tried to kill him twice. Not just the police, his brother. Damn. His brother was being one of those. He was being one of those. But anyway, yeah, bro, like, damn. Shot in the head twice. Cut around his head. And then shot in the jaw. Broke his jaw. Shot in the face. Kidnapped. That's mine. I got me fucked up. That's out. And uh, my cop back pushed the window. And the officer, like, he came inside the tank. And I don't know if you can see. You see, like, the two little black spots on my side? Yeah, yeah. The nigga, he came. I was so hyped up. He came, held the taser to me for, like, five minutes. I didn't go down. I kept punching the window, broke it out. And on everything, when I tried to climb out the window, where they, um, you know how it blocks the uh, court, the, the tape from the judge? When I tried to climb out that bitch, your mama's the deputy. He done my shit. But that shit went through, and all the I could, I should knock out my wisdom tooth and shit. So shit, my, that shit was, and I was in there, that's the crazy part. They thought I was high on drugs in there, but I wasn't, I was just mad. I've, never seen, I've never seen anybody with as many wound, uh, scars as you. Uh, yeah, that's what a lot of people be sure. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's there's a hundred knife wounds Damn. on your person. Yeah, they, everybody be telling me I look like, uh, and they like, I'm the real African black person. You know, the evil one. Oh, mama. But like, you, that boy. shit, yeah, this shit, man, a lot of people don't know, man. All this shit, though, all this shit right here, right here, this shit came from kidnapping. Like, shit like this right here. Yeah, he did say his torture. This one's right here. Damn, this bro. One, that's a gunshot wound. This one is from getting stabbed up in the king. How far did you go to school? Me? Yeah. Oh, I graduated. I went to the 12th grade. You did? Yeah, I graduated school. Do you, do you regret joining a gang? Huh? Do you regret joining a gang? Do I regret going in, joining a gang? At the end of the day, nah, because it taught me, like, I ain't going to say, like, it taught me who I am, but it taught me more about being a man and, you know what I'm saying, walking the streets. Like, I tell these young cats, this gangbanging shit, it's not a joke. It's not play. This shit a lifestyle. No matter where you go, niggas, if niggas know you, they know you. So, you feel me? It was just, what, Halloween. On oh, mama's Halloween, me, my daughter, and um, my um, god nieces, we driving, boom, boom. On oh, mama's, niggas seen me, they knew me, knew the car, they lit that bitch up. On Halloween this year, shot my car up, boom, I got out, went to do, and Just that's when I got ago. hit in the nuts. You did? <laughs> yeah, I got shot in the nuts on Halloween. My sister Tay was laughing at me because when they came, my shit was cocked up <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh, and everything. Bro, and what? She was tripping about that shit. She was like, nigga, how's you still up walking? Nigga, you even shot in the head, the face. Now, nigga, you shot in the nuts. So, all together, it was. I say gunshot wounds. If you want to go through gunshot story, I want to say all together with the three facial, it'll be, what, 28? 28 times I was shot. 28 times like you it was, shot. Man, like, niggas don't understand that And there's about 100, 100 or more stab wounds on you. Oh, the stab wounds, I want to say, that's about like, I want to say like 175. Yeah. Damn, bro. Oh, mama. And How is you still living, though? Back, too, where like niggas. You think it's like, karma? Karma from doing what I was doing when I was younger? Yeah. Uh, how, how many people do you think you've killed? Damn, you want me to speak on that on camera? Yeah, I do. <laughs> damn. <laughs> No, we're not naming names. Oh, okay. We're just rough, uh, rough number. Rough number. Don't do it. Uh, you gonna do it too? I don't say before I went to jail. Rough number between ten and fifteen. That's this King Von before King Von. Why are you? Oh my God, bro! They even go back to jail. Three hundred. And then, they, and then there's a guy in prison. Yeah, the dude, before I went to jail, about 10, 15, then uh, in jail in the county, only one in the county because the nigga he tried to slice my shit. Yeah. And then in the pen, I had a broken cat neck because we got into a melee. And uh, the nigga, oh, mama, the shit was wicked. The nigga, I don't know if you see this right here, but you can see it? Yeah. Yeah, so. While we squabbing on mamas, we squabbing. 
a dude run up, I dunked low and I came, bam, slap his ass. But when I came up, oh mama's Lee, I got into a riot with the woods. So when I came up, oh mama's a nigga had like a little four little, but I wanna say like that big, a little pocket bagger. And then he stuck me in my shit all the way in. I ain't even know the nigga had that shit that much shit on no mama. Boom, bam, getting with it, boom, bam. With the shit hanging in my shit and all that. Getting with it, boom, bam. Pick the nigga up, slam him on his neck. Oh, mama, so I turn around, get with it some more. And uh, the homies, they looking at me all funny and shit. I'm like, fuck y'all staring at nigga like these niggas running up. We doing our shit, boom, boom. Next thing I know, the homie like, bro, you got a knife sticking out your head. I'm like, blood, stop playing. I turn around and get off, boom, bam. And when I turn around and get off, the homie, he scream, and it's a real ass nigga, like this the Damu on me for lane. He pass out. What the fuck? Homie's like, bro, you got a knife. So when I reach to pull this shit out, oh mama, that's when they shot me with the mini 14 in my leg. You know what the mini 14 is? It's like the, okay, it's the, okay, you ever hear, you ever hear people fuck? say, we don't I'm get no warning, amazed, don't get nigga. No warning shots. So it's a mini 14, it's the big ass, it's the rifle that shoot the two, two, three rounds. So I got hit in the leg with the 223, the mini 14. So from here to here, it's all is still raw. So like my bone was reconfigured and everything. But the whole time I'm standing up, we squabbling, yada, yada. And I wouldn't go down. So the Lieutenant, the Lieutenant Nolan, he came out and uh, the homies, they surrounded me because I wouldn't get down. I was like out of, and I ain't gonna say I was zombied out. But when I get mad, I just nut up like, it's like all red, it's, it's done for. So while we was um, doing that, Lieutenant Loney, he came up on the yard. They was like, Pollard, man, I need you to get down. I'm like, man, y'all niggas shot me some. You feel me? I'm like, I got this shit in my head. I need to take it out. I'm like, I can't feel my face. They like, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, I was going to take it out. Next thing I know, I get hit. Like, this is bullshit, bro. Y'all trying to kill me in here too. I'm like, I just left the county. Now y'all niggas trying to take me on the pen. Like, what the fuck going on? So, on oh Mama Nolan, he do the shit A1. He take off, like they got it to where they could hog tie you with the strap on their ankle. So he take that off and he put the little, whatever they want to call it, tourniquet on my leg to stop the bleeding because the shit hit the artery and all that. They lay me down hella back and then I come back, go to the hole, yada, yada. I get out, but I kind of skip some shit. Crazy. One thing that I didn't leave out, like this should be, I don't know if you know about the shit that's going on with Sheriff Baca. You know Sheriff Baca, right? How he got fired and nigga jail time and all that. So I'm under one of those cases where the nigga, uh, they investigating him under me for one of the shits when I was in the county jail. So apparently after all that shit, I want to say about the third time, I had my cell got popped. Oh, mamas, uh, they moved me to, uh, not PC, but they moved me up to the medical floor because I kept having seizures. I guess whatever the motherfucker what the did. <laughs> yeah, all the, all the through your brain at night, yeah, you're going to have seizures at some point. Yeah, so I kept having seizures and shit. So they moved me to the medical floor. So when I'm in the medical floor, I'm thinking everything's going to be gravy. They let you call home, yada, yada. So while I'm up there, they start doing weird shit like the sheriffs. All of them was cool except for this one Mexican. So I want to say like, I want to say for like the first five months, I swear to you not, probably like once a week I was getting down with the sheriffs. Boom, boom, get them. Oh, mama's getting tased. It'll be one taser, two taser, <laughs> swipe the white. You feel me? Oh my so God. So I got bro. to the point to where, and I ain't gonna lie, I learned my lesson too after that. Cause uh, they ended up getting the biggest spending dude off my uh, floor, but I got with it. Nigga, learned your lesson. After that, nigga, you should learn your lesson when you got shot in the head the first time. The second time, you got cut in the head. And they tried to they try to take off your front part of your head and just look stupid. Man, tell me something. After that, I learned after that. Nigga, please. You get, bro, I get shot one time, stabbed one time, bro. It's, it's over with. I'm done, bro. I'm done fighting. I'm done doing whatever I was just doing. That was it. Harder. Look, this nigga, he need to move. Why is he still there?
I don't care if you need to move to Alaska, my nigga. They they give you a little thirty two hundred every year. You can go ahead, go down there and work. Work a little couple hours. You can't, you you have a seizure, so you can't really do much. But shit, goddamn me, disability check and get your goddamn shit. You gravy. Take your kids with you, nigga. Shit, you got shot of your nuts. You can't do nothing. Can't eat nothing. Fucked yeah, boom, up. boom. And then this one, one chef named Marietta. He came up while I was taking off on his partner. They was tasing me and I wasn't going down. So that nigga, he actually put me to sleep. <laughs> like, I don't like, I ain't never been put to sleep before. You, like, you, do you believe in karma? Yeah. <laughs> do I think that was karma? No, do you believe in karma? Yeah, I believe in karma to the fullest on mama. I believe in karma. Karma's a bitch. Like, to the fullest. But you're still, just, you're still standing. Huh? You're still standing, though. Yeah, and that's the thing. Everybody tell me, like, oh, mama, they say your book is written before your ass come out your mama coochie. So, you feel me? Before you come out, your story, everything from the beginning to the one. end is already written. You got nine lives. So, huh? You got nine lives. Yeah, I said that. My nieces call me Wolverine and shit. So, that shit, man. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say, like, technically nine, nine lives, because she, like, just, just on the streets, I done died a couple times. And in the pen, I'm talking about shit, it's to the point where they got a federal investigation, not just on the shit that happened in the county jail, but in the pen from them not giving me my medical medication. I just, man, all type of shit. The niggas trying to kill me in the pen. My cell getting popped in the pen. I'm waking up after they get down with niggas in the pen, getting stabbed, all type of shit. Do you have any, do you have any regrets in your life? Any regrets? Uh, I say the only regret I say that I have like all bush to the side, the only regret that I would have is basically going to the pen because I wasn't out there for my nephews and shit. You feel me? So, do you have kids? Me, yeah, I got a daughter. Oh, mama, I got a daughter, and I didn't even know about her until what I want to say, like. My 10th year in. Yeah, well, you, you spent half your life in prison. Yeah, my uncle, I went in when I was, um, what, 18? 18, yeah. I went in the county jail, 18. And from 18, I didn't get out until, uh, this is 2022, 20, I didn't get out until 2021. So, yeah, that's what. Damn, boy. That was like, what, 2007, 8, 2007? So 2007 to 2021. George, what would you say is the most important lesson you've learned in your life? The most important lesson, like, oh, mamas never take family for granted, you feel me? And one thing I don't ever do, I see all this shit down here, everything. I ain't never doing no drugs. I done sold this shit. I done seen the gang wars over it, the, the blood over it, everything. Like, this shit, this shit vicious. I done cooked this shit, rocked it, everything. You feel me? But I can't fuck with it like these niggas fuck with it. They want to smoke it. Nah, that's out. You never played around with drugs? I smoke weed. That's it. Like, everything goes, I can't do it. Like, I know me like, like, I know me like, I like pussy. I like weed. I like eating food. So at the end of the day, I know me. I got like, how you say, like the addictive, uh, Personality. Like, yeah, you feel me? So. I feel that if I start something and I like it too much, it ain't going to be no stopping, no rehab. So before I do that, like, I'm going to distance myself from it. Like, oh, mama, that's why I won't sure. sell nothing that I use. If I, I smoke weed, so I won't sell weed. If I'm going to sell something, it's going to be Chris, Cavi, some shit like that. Damn, you nigga, you snitching on yourself and shit. I know I ain't going to touch that shit. So there was one time I went to a G homie and I asked him for a cigarette. The nigga gave me a cigarette. Man, that shit was laced with shine. I must have ran from Crenshaw, what was that, Crenshaw Stalker to Crenshaw King to King and Buckingham to the block, asshole naked. I don't even know where that, water, hey, like said, I, I don't even know how far that is, but that, that shit sound far as fuck. <laughs> sound far as fuck. You running the whole fucking city, my nigga. <laughs> Y'all better stop using them drugs. Y'all pill poppers and all of Yeah, yeah. Don't do drugs, kids. It's for real. It's for real. It's for real. Took off down the street while I'm running, I'm coming out my clothes. That man, PCP will mess you up. Huh? That PCP will mess you up. Yeah, man. Oh, mama, I was like, what the fuck? And then my dad, I ain't know what the fuck it was. My dad, when I came out, he seen my eyes. And I'm like, man, what the fuck? I'm going up on him. 
They like, what the fuck, who you smoke Sherm with? I'm like, I ain't smoke no Sherm. All I did was get a cigarette from Big Homie. He was like, who the fuck? I told him, he was like, man, that shit. Big Homie and Pops, they got out and they took their homie fade, boom, bam. Pops knocked him out. And uh, my mama, she got out there though. This my mama, as you probably heard from my sister, my mama crazy. My mama got out there like, y'all hoes foul, we'll do a wolf, drug my baby, we'll do a wolf. And my dad like, he ain't, they didn't do shit, it was a nigga. You feel me? That's why I got out with him. But the homegirls, because I ran on the block, they was like cuffing my ass and trying to grab my shit and shit. Well, I fucked up. And they was recording oh. and shit. So next day, oh, I was fucked up. House, gave me some milk, put me in the shower. That shit came down after that. I said, never again. Man. Like, I get homies all the time. Like, if I'm out there selling crystal or some shit, they be like, bro, you, you not even close, bro. I sell that shit. Get the money, boom, bam. Yada, yada. Anything else? Yada, yada. Niggas ask me that shit all the time. And on mama, I was just disciplined like that. Because I started selling dope when I was young, before I even came out here. You feel me? So You started selling dope at, at 10 years old? Yeah, I was selling dope at young age. Oh, mama's rocking back, and that's why I said I started off as an errand boy. You feel me? I just, you know, cook the shit, cut it up, and go drop it off. Oh, mama's my G homie, he give me my little thing for the week. You feel me? I go get my dollars plus my money from cooking and cutting it up and running it around. So, shit, when I was doing that at 10, I had my little moolah. My mama would tell you, it didn't matter. You feel me? She'll go up in the refrigerator. My little sister, she done found the shit plenty of times. She'll go in there, a big ass bag of hot Cheetos. You think it's hot Cheetos? Oh, mama, no hot one Cheetos. Ones, fives, tens, all up in the bag. Damn. I'm going go in the freezer. She see the ice cream boxes full of stacks of money and shit. And that's when my pop, he not my biological father, but he was my dad, like the nigga. Like he raised me, put me on, you feel me, put me out there. So he had me on everything. He set me down, talked to me, like, what the fuck is all this? I'm like, ah, man, like, nigga, I'm getting it. Like, I'm tired. Like, for real, for real. I don't want to wear feelers and all this other shit no more. And shit like that. He was like, man, I right, just be safe with the whoop. He was like, let nigga know what's going on in my household, though. I'm like, for sure, say less. What, what do you see for your future? Huh? What do you, you just got out of prison a few years ago? Who, me? Yeah, I got out of prison in 2021. Yeah, nigga, you, nigga, who else he interviewed? He talking about you, crazy ass nigga. Shit, your ass don't hurt. 21. Oh, okay. who, me? Just like nigga, you. Last year, um, I went to in, in March. What do, you, what do you see for your future? What do you want to do? What do I see for my future? Um, Any chance you can be back in prison again? Hell no, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I done told my family, I ain't going back to jail. They gonna have to kill me. I swear to God. They can't, I'm not nigga. Going back to jail. They gonna have to really. They pop. can't kill you, nigga. You been, nigga. You, you a dead man walking. They can't kill you, man. Shit, goddamn, y'all. This goddamn scar, shot in the head, shot in the face, shot in the nuts, leg, arm. Because that's all. I, I swear to you, not my family didn't think I was gonna make it out. When I say the police was trying to kill me, bro, like them niggas was trying to kill me, like. That shit's like sad. Like, it's it's to the point where the homies is coming up to me like, nigga, you know the police, they got a, um, they call that shit like a jug. They put a jug out on. Like, niggas out here call it green light, but they were sound like I was a little jug. You feel me? Like, oh, mama's, if it was an issue, they'll send the MA towards my way because it was already facts out that for one, they had me labeled as a cop killer. For two, they had me labeled that I had the green light on me for my brother. So it was already a goal to take me out for the police. So that shit was just fun and game. And in the pen, I don't know if you heard about the shit for like the gang members and shit. You ever heard of Greenwall? The police, they got their little gang in there. So mama's in there. Police, you say one thing stupid. That's only at uh, Salinas Valley. But uh, mama's, when I was at Salinas Valley, that's where I got into the ride at. And after I got shot, I was in the hole. I was in the little um, infirmary shit. Then I went to the hole. While I'm in there, mama, I say some, I didn't even say it was some weird shit. It was some smart mouth shit. But the sheriff, he asked me, was I hungry? I said, what the fuck it look like? Hell yeah, I'm hungry. I'm like, canteen ain't for another week. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm hungry. They say end of the month. <laughs> hey, I want my breakfast tray. They was like, yo bitch ass ain't got a woo to woo. Like, yo bitch ass can just give me the tray, nigga, and shut it up. It's too early. 
They like, oh, I got you, Polly. He like, nigga, you want to get down? I'm like, nigga, give me my trade. Nigga, when I'm done needing, we can get down. It's whatever, nigga, I'm home. I'm just thinking I'm talking shit. He talking shit because they say that shit all the time. So after they come pick up the trades, I'm sitting there doing my morning workout. Man, this nigga come tap my door like, Pilot, uh, the sergeant want to see. I'm like, what? He like, the sergeant want to see. I'm like, what? He like, he want me to pull you out. He can pull me out instead of walking to the office right across. This nigga take me in the back towards the worst name. Like, what the fuck? And the nigga that I talk shit to, he like, you still want to get out? I'm like, what the fuck? I look around like, nigga, this is a joke. Y'all about to give me an ad charge, what the fuck? They like, nah, nigga, we gonna get in. Nigga took off his arm, uh, his little vest shit, his utility thing, his belt shit. He got out there. I don't know if that nigga thought he was gonna whoop my ass or what. Got on up. Bing, bam, drop this bitch ass. Bing, bam, bam, boy. The rest of the um, little CO, boom, bam. Boom, bam. Fuck they ass up. Mm -hmm. But on mama's, I wanna say, after like the fourth person, I turned around and all I heard was, bing. That nigga hit me with that billy club. <laughs> <laughs> I see it with lights out. Oh wow! I don't know if you can see at the top right here the little shit where it split my shit. <laughs> Another scar. Yeah, oh mom. That's why that shit split my shit. I feel that. I still feel that shit to the day on everything because it got like keloid, keloid skin on it and everything. Like that shit was fucked up. Like oh mama's. I woke up in my room, but I ain't do no snitching. I ain't snitching on police or nothing. No mama. When um, they came and found me. Before the fool left, it was like, man, you did that shit like a G, bro. You ain't scream, coughing on uh, Wooty Woo. I'm like, nah, I did it like a G, but y'all make some bitches, bro. You knocked me out with a baton, my nigga. You's a bitch. It was like, all right, nigga, when you want to get out. I'm like, nah, I ain't getting down again, nigga, because you ain't going to hit me with a baton again, nigga. <laughs> like, you got the game fucked up, bro. But the homies was telling me, like, bro, you did your shit. You did your shit. I'm like, yeah, but that nigga knocked me out. He got the end melee, though. <laughs> like, that nigga, he got the end function of it. All right, George. Thank you so much for sharing your story, man. For sure, boy. I appreciate it, man. Stay safe. All right. Stay out of prison. Sure. Stay out of prison. <laughs> yes, sir. Bro, where the hell did he be finding these people at? Because, nigga. God damn. That was a long ass little story. God damn, bro. He got hit, shot three times in the head. Boy. Shit. Ooh, -wee. that's why I stay at home. <sighs> Shit, I stay at home. I don't want no trouble. I don't want no smoke with y'all. I'm scared, y'all little boys. Y'all little boys be tripping. Y'all little boys be trying to shoot up, rock. Nope, I'm staying at home. Mm hmm. You can't do nothing to me. I am a bitch. All right. Don't do nothing to me, man. But anyway, it's your boy. Who the fuck is a? Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'm out this mud.